I eyeball everything when I make a bow like this. And uh, this one is almost finished. I think I'm gonna give it a, another fire harden. Because as you can see, most of the, the hardening is uh, been scraped off. I'm starting high, and then I'm moving it closer to the coats. Okay, I only need to, to finish the handle now, but uh, when I make a bow like this, I, uh, I always put the string on first and shoot it sometimes. And uh, then I can see which way the string wants to go, uh, which side of the bow the string favors, okay? Because as you can see here, this limb, is, is pointing a little bit in that direction and the other end I don't know if you can see this but the other, the other end is actually bending a little bit to the opposite direction so let's see which side the, the string is favoring yeah. and I have this idea that uh, as you can see I have this this mark right here and I have this idea that this side will be the, the arrow side of the bow. I put some uh, some horn tips on the bow too. So let's try to, to string it here. Looks like the, the lower limb here is a little bit more stiff than the upper. If, if this is the upper limb, I don't know yet. It's really not much, but as we can see here, there's a little bit more, uh, more distance over here than there is over here. So uh, we're just, just taking some, some sandpaper here. I think this happened when I was hardening the bow for the second time. Maybe it, it, it got a little bit more heat over here than it did over here. So that's why this limb is a little bit stiffer now.
It actually helped a little. Right? It's almost perfect now. And uh, as we can see here, we actually have the string in the middle. I think it favors. No, it's actually right in the middle. So I'm gonna make a little cutout here, a little bit cutout as a side window, just uh, five millimeters or something, and then I'm gonna put a a piece of wood on it to make a shelf, okay? So that's fine. Okay, <laughs> I just put a put a knock point on here. So uh, let's try to to shoot the deer over there. And uh, I don't have any any cutouts or anything, so it's off the hand here, and uh, and it's it's pretty wide still, and this arrow is probably way too stiff. So, but anyways, let's try to to shoot the deer here. See what happens. <laughs> Not bad. So there we have the arrow. It's quite a quite a twang twang now when we are shooting here. Because we don't have the silencers. And this is also a, a B55, so it's it's quite like a guitar, as you can hear. <laughs> It's smacking to the to the side of the bow also, so that's why the <coughs> it's so noisy, right? Let's try again. It's almost the same place. It's too stiff, I can I can tell, because it's shooting a little bit to the left. That's also why I, I'm canting the bow, uh, to try to equalize it. Perfect. Perfect. See this uh, this bow is made out of a sapling. As you can see here it's it's very crowned. But that's not really a problem. Some would say that uh, you cannot make a bow out of a sapling like this. Uh, the tree needs to be uh, 10 years or something. But uh, that's not true. As you can see here you just have to be patient with the with the tailoring. It looks like the string is still right in the middle. So I can shoot it like I want to. And now I'm just need to to make the make the handle and uh, give it some finish. And uh, then I'll get back to you in another video to 
maybe shoot some 3D targets with it or something and uh, you can see the end result of this bow okay so I hope you like this video and uh, I'll see you next time bye